Now let's talk about Johnny. He wasn't there in the courtroom during the reading of the verdict. Should he have been there? He wanted to be there, uh, but he had a prior commitment with Jeff Beck, who's a close friend of his, to play in England. So he was he was torn. But he is a man who fulfills his obligations, and he had an obligation to uh, to Jeff Beck. But he made very clear in a statement, which you probably saw, that he this that he had profound respect for the court and for the jury and for all of you who spent so much time there in Fairfax County. So his not being there was in no way intended to be disrespectful, to the contrary. Right. And how did he find out being across the pond? I believe that he was in a pub watching it. And we weren't, obviously, we couldn't share that moment with him, but we did. FaceTime him and he he looked like the weight of the world is off of his shoulders and it yeah tell us more about his reaction and I see you becoming emotional you became emotional during closings too yeah I mean his life was on the line so we felt very strongly and we felt strongly that he did not do anything remotely like this and we all felt that way or we wouldn't have been working on it so and I could see that every day. You know, I was there in the courtroom. I watched how you interacted with your client. You know, as an attorney, that's so important. You could see the bond that you have. He's a great guy. I mean, he, he's got a terrific sense of humor. And the fact that he could show that when the worst possible details about his life were being exhumed on an international stage. I mean, he knew when he had us file this case that there was going to be embarrassing, humiliating information about his personal life, mm -hmm. and yet he did this anyway. And it was because the charge against him, he felt was so heinous and something with which his children should not have to live. Right, and considering that, did you also have to sort of prep him for the worse as well in the outcome of this case? We, we did, and I think he was quite cognizant of that in light of what happened in London. Mm -hmm. And we went through a mediation, and the, you know, the mediator was candid about um, defamation cases, as you know, are very hard to prevail on, even under the best of circumstances. Um, so this, yeah, I think he went into it um, eyes wide open. You kind of took my next question. Was he aware of what a long shot this was? Because, like you said, the, the law for actual malice and defamation, especially from a plaintiff, is difficult. It's a high burden. It's a very high burden. I think he understood that. But I think he felt that he had no other choice but to try to get the truth out and to have his say. And I think irrespective of the verdict, I think he was pleased that he had a fair opportunity to be heard. So I think either way, I think he, he had the satisfaction of having his say. And uh, it's been about a week now. Have you talked to him recently? How's he doing? Um, he seems to be doing fine. He's quite busy. He's doing shows with Jeff Beck. And I think he's finally able to breathe. One of his friends said that he hasn't seen Johnny smile like this since 2016. Let me bring back in Court TV legal correspondent Chanley Painter, fresh off this interview. Chanley, uh, an amazing moment there. He got emotional, Ben Chu did. Yeah, he did, Vinny. Uh, he, I could tell that his his eyes were welling up with tears, and I, I just wanted to give him that moment to express what he was feeling. He was really reliving the verdict and what that meant for his client. You know, would you, if you think back to closing arguments, he actually became emotional when he was arguing those those final uh, tidbits to the jury about what this means to Johnny Depp, that he needs his life back. He's doing this for his children. And again, he had tears in his eyes, which really goes to show how invested he is in his client, how much he believes in Johnny Depp. Yes. And, you know, this was a civil case, you know, civil cases about generally damages, money, et cetera. Um, but it really brought home the point that this was uh, much, much more. And it was the kind of reaction we see sometimes with criminal attorneys who were literally have clients' lives in their hands. Absolutely. And, you know, this is some a relationship between Ben Chu and Johnny Depp that has 
been years in the making. He's represented Johnny in previous matters, litigation matters, and he's still representing him in a couple of other uh, legal matters moving forward. I did get to ask, you know, what is next for Johnny Depp? Everyone keeps asking what's next. And of course, he's going to keep himself busy playing music, but also he has a movie coming up in France, Vinny, later this year. All right, Chanley Painter, job well done as always.